Great, so we're going to overcome a problem of how to create linked forms via buttons. Um, and this is a quite uh, something that should be easy. Uh, I'll explain the issue here. Um, say, for instance, uh, you want to put a button on this subform here. Okay, so what I'm looking for is I want to put a nice little button on uh, this part of the form here. So I've got into design view by right clicking and going to design view. So I'm in design view here. Uh, what I need to do is access a button on here and basically people start using the wizard. So the first thing, uh, obstacle you may come across, is that you click on the drop down list here, you've got control wizard pressed here, you go to the button, you draw and nothing happens. You think, what, what, what on earth's happening here? Well, first thing we have to be in the sub form for the wizard to kick into place. This is what we mean. If I close this down, yes to save any changes. And then I'm going to open up the sub form orders in design view. See, I've right clicked on that there. So I right click on it and then I'm going to go to design view by clicking on the design view button just there. There so we go. So here's the sub form. I've got my button, I've got my control wizards pressed in here, I'm just going to draw my button here, and yes, I've got a control wizard, fantastic. So what I want it to do? Well, I want it to do form operations, and I want it to open up a form. Well, I haven't got a form created for order details yet, so what do I need to do? Well, I need to create a form for order uh, details. So let's do that. I'm going to cancel that for the time being. I'm also going to delete the button. Uh, let's create our form for order details. So I'm going to use the form wizard for that and I'm going to use order details. So if you didn't see that one up there, I'm using, uh, let's have a look here, the create tab here at the top, and then I'm clicking on form wizard just oh, to the right. There we go. So create form wizard, and I'm going to choose order details from the tables drop down list. Uh, I'm just going to think of what I need. Well, I will have the order details ID. I also need the order ID as well, so I can link it between the forms. Uh, I, do I need the product and price? Well, I, I suppose I do need what type of products. I haven't added the products table there. Uh, the price, well, I probably don't need. And the amount is how much or the quantity that I'll need of that. So I will include that as well. Uh, that's good. All right, then. So click on next. I'm going to have that as tabular. Click on next. And I will have this called FRM order details. Click on finish. Uh, my form should be made up. And here we go. That's fantastic. So here's my order details form. Again, if I want to edit this, I would right click on it, go to design view and spend time. I'm, I'm you know, thinking, well, I don't need the amount to be that big and that high. And I can adjust it to my heart's content. And then save when I finish by clicking on the save button just at the top here. So you click on that save button just to finish. Uh, when to finish, you close that form down. That's great. So the idea is now I have a nice little command button. Make sure my wizards are pressed in. Yes, and I draw the button. I get my command button wizard appeared. Fantastic, it's all looking so good. I go to form operations, open a form. Look great. Uh, I want to form order details. Fantastic, click on next. And then I want to open the form and find specific data to display. Do you see that there? I want it to open and find the records that pertain to that particular order. So I'm going to click on next here. Uh, and then go, okay, again, order ID is what I want to find. So order ID with order ID. Click on next. Uh, let's say, for instance, I'm just actually just sticking order details. Uh, I'll give it a meaningful full name, so I'm going to call it uh, BTL Order Details. Okay, so if you just want to see that, what I've typed in there, so it's BTL Order Details. Okay, click on Finish, and we've got the Order Details button there. So the idea of this is, if I save and I close down this, the idea is if I open up Form Customers, I can choose my customer. I can have a look at the orders here, and if I want to look at the Order Details, I click on that and open it up and I can see uh, the order details uh, for that particular one. If I go here, yeah, that's good. All righty then, let's go, let's go to another one here. Let's go to the new customer. Uh, if we just type in a new name, so I'm going to do this one, Fast Toys. Sounds a bit dodgy that one there, but there we go. Uh, I've entered a customer ID, that's good. I've got a customer name, I want an order date, so I'm gonna do that as today. I click on order details. Uh, yeah, you see the issue here is if I click on this one here, you see the order ID here is four. I click on order ID, it, it's zero. Yeah. 
So what I'm going to do is if I type in I'm having product number two and I'm having 20 of those go to next, I get this error here. You cannot change or add a record because a related record is required in table orders. What does that mean? Well, basically, it means that I've got to stick in the same order ID. If I put in a four in there, I do apologize. Let's have a look, look here. Yeah, I'm going to come out of that record here. So basically, I've got to come out here. That's order ID four. Then I go to order details. I've then got to have order ID four here and then type in a product number one and 20. Go to the next one. It's just a bit difficult. It's not very convenient, is it? So what I want basically to happen is when I click on this order details button here, that this is passed through to this automatically, ready to add orders. So I don't have to you know, muck about with trying to copy and paste orders in. So this is how we do it.